tell you. Okay, you know about Brian the Snake Man, right? Yeah. You've heard of him, okay. Yeah. There are two guys that came up a couple of weeks ago from West Virginia who make some of the special snake catching sticks for Brian. So I talked to them for about 45 minutes. I wish I'd done that because someone stole my snake stick. I told them to come here to see you and they, they asked me to connect up with them. But anyways, I'm I'm trying to get people to come and talk to you about this area because you know it so well and then you can point out where the Yeah. But I need to do snake stick. Someone stole mine. After three years, after the park gave it to me, I kept it in my Jeep, no we ever bothered it. Okay. At the end of the season, I stopped up here at the store. Someone took it right out of my Jeep. Oh, from there. Yeah. Oh, that's too bad. A snake stick. Oh, here comes one guy. Yeah, I haven't. I uh, talked to the snake guys. They saw, two weeks ago, they saw one copperhead and one river snake. They said they've seen thousands of snakes because they're snakers. So that's all they do. Yeah. I'm probably in the hundreds. Yeah, you're, you're up there for this area. You'd be the expert. That's why they want, probably want to come talk to you sometime. So anyways, one guy's got a long beard and then there's a young man with him. He's got the good eyes. He can see, he can, it, you know, not everybody can see snakes. <laughs> that's lovely. I mean, I don't know if that's a, a curse or a gift that I was gifted with that. Well, make it your hobby. Yeah, but I, I don't know. That's what I said. I don't know if it's a curse that I can see snakes so good. Or oh, good. I don't know which one it is. Yeah, but. If you know their behavior, you know the, oh, yeah. you know what they're gonna do and not do with you. I don't like this. I can't run like you. Everything's too slippery. Yeah, I don't know what to do. Bring a brush. Oh, they are? Yeah, they all look like pros. Yeah, they're all guys for a good one. The company that has the red wraps, longer toys. Yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah, if they can, if they can twirl around in that, they can do anything. <laughs> so 
some days I miss it, but my back's too bad. I can't get tired. Really? Did you have a couple falls or what? Uh, yeah, mountain climbing. Uh, and then uh, right now I have, as of right now, I got my L4s herniated, L5s herniated, S1s falling, and I got my L2s falling. So I got two falls in the last week. Oh, that's bad. Yeah, I'm just trying to get back to the gym and get out there and get out there and get out 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 and get yeah, you take good pictures, though. I like your pictures. Yeah. <laughs> I sometimes sit on the stools and then look at them. Oh, yeah, uh, I couldn't believe it. I was sitting right there. Yeah. And, uh, the new parent came down and landed literally within eight yards of me. And I knew a couple times to get them. I think it must have turned out to me. They stayed there with me for 40 minutes. Wow. I almost got up to five yards away from it. Wow. Yeah, because you're uh, you're a familiar, like, uh, yeah. living yeah, creature. You know, I noticed on my job, uh, humans, once the animals know that you're a protector, yeah. they use you so the other animals don't bug them. Because you, you scare away other animals that, that are their predators. They can sense that stuff. Yeah, yeah, they can tell whether you're kind of like a friendly big... Well, just like now, over the years, Blackbirds up here. Yeah. They make a certain. I, I figured it out myself over the years, but they make a certain call whenever someone's coming down that yeah. path. Yeah. Yeah. They warn. And I always know when someone's coming down that path before they even know. I know they're yeah. That's good. Yeah. The, that's what birds do. There's all. There's a uh, like sentries. They're like sentry birds. Yep. They're letting everybody know. It's a certain call, and when I hear it, I know there's someone coming down the path. Wow. That's good. Yeah. I've seen it. When I when I hike along the river shore. I'll go into an area and then you can tell when the birds are like saying, okay, something's coming. Yep. <laughs> you get up here a lot in the winter? I try to come at least twice a month. See, I've seen a couple of you. I mean, I went through all of you to see how the river was. I, I uh, you know, you got like about a two hour window and then I start getting tired. Yeah. So if I, I, I knew you were gonna be here, uh, because I checked the last couple of weeks that you've been being, you've been coming, so I w just wanted to chat and see what you did over the winter. Yeah. I wanted to see if you like what uh, what other adventures you're you're into. Because I always promote you. You're like one of the like highlight people here for Ohio Pile. You know what I mean? Yeah. Anyways, yeah. So I try to tell people, you know, if they're willing to listen, say hi to you. If I see some random kayakers, I say the guy. Thank you. Good. Okay. Yeah. And then I try to tell people that look educated, that are scientific, I say, tell your other scientific friends to come here and interview you for what you know. Yep. And like the sneakers that I met a couple weeks ago, I told them to come here too. Yeah, there was a there was guys who came last year too. They were from, I think, Ohio. They were from the snakes and stuff too, yeah. Yeah. They wanted more rattlesnakes than anything. Yeah, I'm not good on those. But uh, over by Main Falls, uh, uh, you know there are those, uh, the big rock ledge on, the, on that side. Yeah. And then behind the rock ledge there's this little pool of water, three pools of water. And I've been filming those over the years. That's where a snake family lives every year. They eat the tadpoles and then the frogs or the toads or whatever, they leave these like balls. They look like cow turds. Yeah cow turd piles under the water and I touched it this year with the stick and it, it, you can feel how soft and, and uh, gooey they are and then that's where the tadpoles hatch out of and then the snake families have, lay their babies there and then they eat the tadpoles. I don't know if you've ever, no, I don't know if you've, like, if you've been along the river, have you ever seen like the long rocks there and it looks like, like mud, like tubes, like floating, it's like, almost like feathery. What are they? We're here. I was like, I kept seeing them here and here. I'm like, I'm going to take the stick. Because as soon as you take them with a stick, they fall apart. You see the water, they're like two. Oh. We're here, I took it out. I let it dry on the rock. Here, it's, um, there's a little tiny worms all in there. It's like a, it's a nest. A worm nest, huh? Yeah. 
where they had it's a certain kind of fly. Wow. I found it out by myself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow, you, when I, this summer when you're down here, I'll show you. Yeah, wow. that, that, uh, yeah, I know it takes years sometimes to notice these things, so that's why I say get yourself a GoPro and just strap it on and have it, you know, so you can turn it on when you see stuff. No, I mean to record it because, you know, those moments don't come every day. Yeah, I know. Like when you go uh, snake hunting or snake moving, you should you should strap on a GoPro. Uh, yeah, usually I ain't got time to really quick. I'm just trying to have to hunt it back and forth and then it come down. Here. Yeah. Hey, be careful. It's all too much. Just so you know, where you just walked past the uh, most incredible fossil boulder in the whole park, directly behind you, see all those little divots? Yep. If you turn around and look carefully, you can see the remnants of the prehistoric uh, either seed pods or whatever. They're still in the rock. A lot of the other ones, like that big one up there that you walked across already, has, has the deteriorated uh, fossils, but that one still has remnants of it in it. And then down here is the famous crisscross fossil. So I always try to tell people at least the stuff that I'm interested in. See that guy? See for me, that's just where you don't put your foot. What's that? For me, that's just where you don't put your foot. Oh, that thing? Yeah, but it's a fossil. Yeah. 